Hi, Michael here with Go Engineer. Wanted to offer you another armchair tech tip today, and this one is in reference to removing parts from your PilotJet system. Look, this one's really pretty simple and straightforward. We want to show you how to remove parts to keep your equipment looking professional and clean. So let's go into the back room and show you how we do it here at Go Engineer. Hi, welcome to our back room. So we want to take a moment to actually demonstrate in this video how to remove parts off of your build platen on a polyjet system. Now what we're going to show you applies to all the technologies. These are concerns and cares you should have. If you have a polyjet period, this will apply. One is your build platen and two is your print block and head assembly. You know, too many times we see people come in here with their scraper and they're aggressively just gouging parts off and you're flicking all of those particulates into your very expensive and highly technical print block and head assembly. I'd really rather encourage people to be a little bit slower and methodical about this process. Take some time to gently get these off, clean this area appropriately, and here's how we'd recommend doing that. I first use a larger scraper just to remove the parts. And again, I'm trying to be slow about it. I don't want to just start shoving support material all over the build area or particularly at the print block. So by removing this with the big spatula first, I can be very careful and precise to get those pieces off gently. And then come back with some kind of a razor blade. These should be a part of your kit. When you purchase the system, you, you'll get these tools. If not, they're pretty easy to purchase something like this. Slowly walk off the little layer of, of model material that doesn't really adhere. It just creates a foundation, there we go, creates a foundation for the part to be built on top of the build platen. Once that's been removed, this is a really important piece. Water. Nothing should contact any surface in here other than water. You don't want to use alcohol, especially on your build platen, because it will break down the anodized coating on this, which will, over time, lighten it. And the lighter it gets in here on any of these surfaces, the more the light will reflect back up to your heads and cause the material on your head to actually start to cure while it's building parts, amplifying the issue of having problems down the road. So we recommend coming in with water either on the paper towel, on the build platen itself, and just using this to wipe up the last little bit of particulates that may have been left behind during the cleaning process of removing the parts. And again, I would do this exact same thing for other surfaces in here. Water only on all these flat surfaces to clean your system. And with that, we'll take this stuff out of here and you got a clean system refreshed for your next build. Okay, so I hope that helps give you a quick overview about how to remove parts off your PolyJet system to give it that clean and professional image for the longevity of your investment. If you like this video, please like and subscribe and look down below for links to our website and other tech tips that may follow. Thanks and have a great day. Bye.